Hi everyone, my name is Daniela with Rapid 3D and today I'm going to show you how we can quickly and accurately analyze the corrosion on our cutout pipe sample here. So as you can see, the pipe's been cleaned and sandblasted and I've placed the magnetic positioning targets that are required for the HaniScan Black Elite that I have here. And we've also placed the reference arrow at the top of the pipe uh, so that we can actually reference or tie in this scan with the real world. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the position of that reference arrow and then we're going to follow the pattern of the positioning targets and scan the pipe. So we're scanning at a maximum speed of 1.3 million points per second and uh, each point or each measurement is being taken at a one millimeter resolution or point spacing. Um, all of our pit depths, so the actual accuracy of the measurement of our corrosion depths is going to be accurate to 25 microns or 9 ten thousandths of an inch. So once we're happy with this scan, we just stop the scan and we'll move on to the analysis portion. So now that we've completed our scan and scanned into the pipe check software, we're just going to move over into the corrosion module here to actually complete the corrosion analysis. So once we've moved into the corrosion module, you'll see that the scan has been uh, aligned properly to a virtual cylinder. I'm just going to turn off the grid. It can be a little bit distracting. Um, and then we're going to move into our parameters window to actually set up our project parameters. So as you can see, I've already filled this in with my girth weld reference, um, my OD, my wall thickness, as well as some of my general corrosion analysis parameters, like my worst case profile resolution, I've set it at one millimeter, my interaction rules, uh, and that type of um, information. The next thing we're gonna set is our pit gauge. So um, the pit gauge is fully customizable. You can have up to five additional extensions on either end of the pit gauge. Um, we can also have zero, which is what I have it set at. Uh, and we can adjust our extension length anywhere between one and uh, 12 inches and our center length anywhere between two and six inches. So we have a lot of um, control over how our pit gauge is acting. Um, so I'm just going to leave it with no extensions for now. None of the corrosion on this pipe is particularly large. Um, so just the center length should suffice. So I'm just going to hit apply and OK. And then all we're going to do is click the analyze button and the software will do a virtual pit gauge analysis on everything using the nominal surface of our pipe as our parent material from which to measure the depths. So that's why we want to make sure our pipe is very cleaned because if we have any high points on the pipe, it's going to consider that as nominal, and then we'll have some overestimated depths. But if we take good care to sandblast it and make sure that it's clean, um, our analysis should look pretty good. So it's created this color map here according to the percentage of the wall thickness loss. Um, so I'll just zoom in here on number 10. So you can see it automatically pulls out our maximum depth uh, in the feature. It also gives us our one millimeter resolution worst case or river bottom profile, um, which is this purple line here. Um, and if we go into 2D view, we can see that worst case profile a lot more clearly. And also we can move our virtual pit gauge around um, with my cursor here uh, to see what the circumferential and axial profiles look at that given location. So if we're happy with our analysis here, um, we just go ahead, press report, uh, and it will create the report for us. Um, we can save it uh, wherever you need to, um, and it will spit out either a, a CSV file, a deepest points CSV file, so uh, it'll unwrap the cylinder into a deepest points grid, or a formatted report, which tends to be quite popular. And so that is how you quickly and accurately uh, analyze corrosion on a pipe using Creoform's pipe check software.